Hello, this is Will Faber from art to ride and today I'm going to give you a little update on Miracle. Um, this is about uh, third or fourth time he's been over a couple of fences and I wanted you all to see him. You haven't seen him for a while, but look how beautifully he's starting to develop. You would never know that this was the $250 abused horse you know, that came here a couple of years ago. You can see how I mean, this horse was literally sway back when we started him and if you look closely behind the saddle there you'll see how that's completely filled up. Look how beautiful he reaches into the contact through the neck. And this horse was terribly, terribly broken over in the neck. And uh, it was just a complete mess. I mean, when he moved, he tended to look like uh, his wheels were coming off. But look how nicely he's going now. And we're just introducing to him, in, him to some fences. Now, we're going to do a bit more extensive videos on, on jumping here in the future. But I just want to show you this. Look how she just lets the horse come forward, how he reaches, and how he comes up to close the angle between the rider and the horse. Now you will note that he's, he, she is jumping him, him in a dressage saddle before anybody comments on that. But look at how she's able to get her stirrup short enough to be able to do that in this one because it has very short blocks on it. So it's perfectly fine to, smoke, to jump small fences as long as you have a dressage saddle that lets your knees come up without sending you to the back of the saddle. But once again look how beautifully he's stretching over the ground here and how we just go over a fence and just come back to the trot and reestablish that trot. That's just what you want to do. You know, the early part of jump training should all be done in the trot for quite some time. This is what actually teaches the horse. And then we go to grid work. It's kind of become normal these days for people just to, you know, jump fences because they can get away with, with these horses. Now look how beautifully he's stretched into the contact. No change of rhythm. And you see how he lands on the wrong lead. He's just starting this, but how she just brings him right back to the trot again and right back into the stretch. Now, if you go and watch some of the best riders in the world jump, um, watch uh, Marcus Enning from Germany and watch how his horses, how beautifully they're developed over their backs. He just retired his horse after 20 years of, of jumping service. So once again, that is the people you want to look at, is the people who keep horses going for a long time correctly. Ian Miller up in Canada, you know, um, Mark Todd in Australia, who was able to ride the horse in multiple Olympic games. Now, that's a real horseman in my mind. If you're destroying the horses in the process, you're really just not doing much, are you? But once again, look how beautifully he's stretching into this contact. And once again, look how firmed up he is. And look how even those legs swing together, front and back. And once again, remember, that's what rhythm is, folks. When we talk about a horse's rhythm, that's why it never looks mesmerizing when you see horses that are, that are hollow. Because that you don't see that sink. There's a slight... Your mind is actually seeing it, though maybe not even recognizing that you're seeing it, this this uh, disparity between the front and back end in terms of a time lag in movement. And of course the only horse, the way horses can, that's how you tell, one of the ways we tell whether horses are over their backs or not. So, so now we're just going to try one here in a canter, first time ever. Look how nicely he comes up in a quite, quite nice balance canter. She just let his head be in a natural position right there. Look how he comes forward to the jump, right over it, and uh, does a beautiful bascule over the fence. And that's exactly what you want to do. And there's, you know, once again, the only way you can get a horse to bascule correctly is having it working over its back. But once again, so many people today are getting by on these poor warm bloods that, you know, even with their sagging bellies and sway backs, will go over the fences, you know, at a lower level. Um, but it's really sad because some of them could be lasting, uh, they could all be lasting so much longer. Once again, like how beautifully he comes over that, how he reaches forward to find the stride, and how easy it is to find a stride that's, that, with a horse that's over its back. It, it isn't difficult at all, so that's the thing you want to take home. Will Faber and Amber Matusik here. Hope you enjoyed it.